Hi everyone, my name is Juniper Bowers. I'm the creator of Massage Myofascial Release Technique. My family and I are on a vacation in Mexico right now and I thought this would be a good opportunity to share with you some of the techniques that I use on myself while traveling using the massage balls. I use these on my kids and on my husband, on myself for any situation in which which come up very often while you're traveling that are uncomfortable and create discomfort in the body. There's a lot of uh, sitting in airplanes, buses, taxis, there's a lot of walking, there's a lot of sleeping in uncomfortable beds and eating different types of food. So these massage balls can be used for digestion, can be used for relaxation of muscles, can be used for uh, pain. Uh, today what I'm going to talk to you about is uh, acute pain because yesterday we are in, right now we are in Tepotzlan and yesterday we climbed up a very steep hill to a temple at the very top of the hill through a canyon that was not vertical but very close to vertical and so it was very strenuous on our legs and by the time I was coming down my legs were actually trembling and shaking. They were so worked and uh, all of us came home and we were sore and I uh, got my massage balls out and I wanted to show you what technique I used to release and completely shift and change that dynamic. Today I woke up and I'm fine. I feel great. I'm ready to go walk again. So this is what I did. As a reference point, you have your shin bone here. On the outer edge of the shin bone, you'll take one of the knobs of the massage ball and you'll place the knob right in below the knee. And then you can lower your knee and create pressure. This might take a little bit of getting used to if this is your first time using the massage balls, but it gets easier and easier as you use them. And if you're the kind of person who can't sit, or if you have issues with your knees or hips, you can't sit in this type of easy sit position. You can shift so that one foot is grounded and you've still got this placement against the ball. And once you've got the placement, you're just gonna take your elbow and press it down on the opposite side of the shin bone. So you're sort of sandwiching the shin bone. On either side, you have connective tissue, which all the muscles of the, uh, the backs of the calves connect here and you can create a gentle pressure and then under that pressure you just gently lower your hand like you're lowering a hammer or something. And then you can shift the ball down and you're basically just following the line of the shin bone. Once you find it and you create the pressure, you're going to feel a strong sensation. Usually when you come into this the fascia or the connective tissue initially, it's going to be a strong sensation because this is where your sensory nerves are housed and when they come under pressure, they're going to scream first and eventually they soften up. So you just inch your way down the shin. And this can be used not only for acute pain, this can be used for people with uh, long-term issues, people, uh, this one's for you Pat, people with knee issues and ankle issues from injuries from their past can use this daily to get into these really, really tender spots and soften and loosen. So that's one way to do it. Another is another situation that you may find is that if your knee doesn't come to the ground, you might want to get a yoga block. I don't have a yoga block, but this is our reading material for this uh, for this trip. So I'm going to use this book to show you. You'll take your yoga block or your book or whatever it is. If your knee doesn't go down that far, or if you if it feels uncomfortable, and you can get this to stay, if you can get the book to stay put, and or the yoga block to stay put, you can have the same effect and it's a little bit higher up off the ground so you're not having to go in so deep or so low. So that's another little tip. And the other thing that's really nice 
I just bought this organic coconut oil while I was here yesterday. If you take a little bit of coconut oil, rub it on the upside, you can take that same point and then just slide your elbow down. almost feel you're sort of separating the bone from the muscle and kind of getting some space. The connective tissue is the body system of space and you're sort of opening that space back up so that fluids can move and circulation can flow and messages from the sensory nerves can flow. And your body knows to, to send healing energy to those areas that are affected. When the connective tissue becomes, um, gets either overworked or even with age, uh, it will become sort of tangled and it becomes adhered to itself and then the sensory nerves can't get the information to your brain so your brain never does send the healing that it, that it needs to. And the other thing that can that you can do, which yesterday when I came home I had a really big cramp in my foot because on this trip I chose to bring Converse tennis shoes, which they're very comfortable for traveling, but they're not that great for walking. They don't have very much support. And so I ended up with a, a cramp in my arch. And so another thing that you can do is take pressure here and then do a little rotation, circular rotation in the center of your arch. Stimulates all the nerve endings in the feet and just gets everything to soften up. Okay, so you do that on both sides and remember that Anything initially takes a little bit of practice. Uh, with these little knobs, it's very, it's, it's very useful because you can get into those little pockets, those little perfect points, trigger points they call them. And you have to just learn how to kind of, I call it hunt and peck. So you just place, place the ball, place your weight, place the ball, place your weight until you get a clear sense of what feels good. And once your sensory nerves start to fire, you'll get a cue that this is where it feels good. This is what feels, it's a kind of a hurt so good feeling actually. And then you begin your movement. Okay, so that's your first travel tip from Massage in Mexico. Thanks for joining me.